Hello and welcome to evening prayer. It's wonderful uh, to be back with you to celebrate this, uh, this beautiful office, this office of Vespers. Um, I think I was last here before I went off on retreat. Uh, so a lot, a lot has happened since then. I had, to, uh, I had to stop myself from putting on the diaconal stole just now. Stop and remind myself, actually, I am a priest uh, now. Um, something, something that I will get used to. Um, hopefully I can remember how to, to say the office um, on the live stream. It's been a while. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, the past five days since getting ordained have been absolutely incredible. Um, the Lord has, has been so, so kind to me. Uh, he has filled me with a wonderful sense of peace and joy. Uh, it's also been overwhelming, the number of people that have been getting in touch with emails and cards and, and messages. Um, I'd love to try at some point to respond to them all and to, to let you know. I suppose I'm sort of doing that now, really. Um, yeah, I, I want to let you know how grateful I am for your prayers and your support. And I pray that you will be richly blessed with peace and joy as well. Today, we come together to celebrate the feast day of St. Bonaventure, a great, a phenomenal um, theologian, a Franciscan theologian in the Middle Ages. Uh, he spent many, many years studying philosophy and theology. Of course, like many great thinkers, particularly I'm thinking of maybe people like Thomas Aquinas, uh, they got to the end of their lives having spent a great amount of time and effort um, producing wonderful works on theology and scripture and philosophy. Uh, they get to the end of their lives and realize that the most important things aren't necessarily to be found in books and in learning, but simply in knowing, in experiencing in their hearts the presence and the power and the love of God. And that's something simple and childlike, something that is being offered to us right now through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray that like St. Saint ben, like Saint Bonaventure, we, we too will find the simple beauty of the faith that is being offered to us. We begin with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. 
O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Who are these like stars appearing, these before God's throne who stand? Each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious band? Alleluia, hark they sing, praising loud the heavenly King. Who are these of dazzling brightness, clothed in God's own righteousness? These whose robes of purest whiteness shall their lustre still possess, still untouched by time's rude hand, Whence come all this glorious band? These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long, wrestling until life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustained, triumph through the Lamb have gained. These are they whose hearts were riven, so with woe and anguish tried, who in prayerful loft have striven, with a the God they glorified. Now their painful conflict o'er, God has bid them weep no more. These the Almighty contemplating did as priests before him stand. Soul and body always waiting, day and night at his command. Now in God's most holy place, blessed they stand before his face. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Those who were sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The Lord will build a house for us. He will watch over our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber.
Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will build a house for us. He will watch over our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation, he is supreme over all creatures. The wisdom that comes down from above is essentially something pure. It also makes for peace and is kindly and considerate. It is full of compassion and shows itself by doing good nor is there any trace of partiality or hypocrisy in it. Peacemakers, when they work for peace, sow the seeds which will bear fruit in holiness. This man became a teacher in the church of God. This man became a teacher in the church of God. The Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. This man became a teacher in the church of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This man became a teacher in the church of God. O holy doctor, Saint Bonaventure, light of the church, lover of the law of God, pray for us to the Son of God. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. 
He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O holy doctor, Saint Bonaventure, light of the church, lover of the law of God, pray for us to the Son of God. Let us pray to Christ, the high priest, who is appointed to represent people in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. We offer now our personal intentions that people have sent in. Let us pray for Deacon Simon South and Deacon Dominic Dring, who were ordained to the sacred ministry of the diaconate yesterday. May they have many happy years of ministry. I give thanks to the Lord for my priestly ordination and I ask God to bless me in my future ministry and all those to whom I minister, especially as I spend the next few years in this parish. For all who have lost their jobs during the last few months, May they be guided on new paths as they search for employment, living with hope in their hearts for a successful outcome. We thank God for the easing of the lockdown, but we continue to pray for all those still affected by the coronavirus, especially those who might be feeling anxious as restrictions are lifted. for the well-being of Lil Smith. We pray also for the well-being of John Pearson and for Thomas Harrington, who is going through a very difficult time at present. We continue to pray for the sick known to us. Nicole Bould, Ed El Puerto, Judy Neto, Teresa Hayes, Anita Branson, Carol Pickett, Andrew, Judith, and Rod. And we continue to remember those who have died recently. Linda Mulsey, Andrew Martin, 
and Harvey Palmer. And we offer up a candle for all the silent intentions of our hearts, trusting that the Lord hears our prayers and answers them through the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God and Father, On this feast of Saint Bonaventure, enlighten our minds with the splendor of his teaching and help us to imitate his ardent love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We conclude our evening prayers now, as usual, with a decade of the Rosary. I can't remember where we got to with the glorious mysteries three weeks ago, so I'm going to start again at the beginning with the resurrection. We ponder on this mystery with Our Lady. Let's give thanks to the Lord for raising Jesus from the dead, for showing us that he has power over death, that he has power over evil, that he has shown us the way to eternal life, that we too may, by placing our faith in him, rise from the dead as well. We unite all of our prayers, those that we've offered up with the candles and the prayers of our hearts, and many prayers of people that we know and love. We unite them to Our Lady's prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii eve, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, o pia, o ducis, virgo marvi. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. <laughs> 